Hello and welcome back to another relax and play session. We're taking a little break from Alien while Ferocious Jelly is tucked away in his dark little corner. Recuperating. With, with the with the glow of his uh, PC screen in front of him as he's watching E3 and getting all the information. I've been watching it too. He's been sending us links. But th today I am joined by Mythicality. Hello! And she will be joining me as... This is the first time we both uh, played Diablo 3 on the console. Yes. And uh, we're both big fans there, of the PC version. Well, at least I am. There have been many, many, many hours wasted on Diablo on the PC version. What would you say wasted? <laughs> um, enjoyed? Savored? Yeah. Occasionally screamed at? Yeah. Uh, hmm. the... Expert? Yeah. Expert. Really? Expert. You really want to? I'm serious. I always play on Expert. I am so dead. It's okay. I used to play on Master on my bar. Ball. Oh, yeah, I used to play on Master on my bar, but it was very exciting. It is fun. It's extra gold and extra loot, and it's not that difficult. Die, cutscene. Yeah, we're, we're going to skip the cutscenes. Um. Okay, Um, I have buttons, and I'm sure... That I know how to use them. Take note of the nice central little mini map and your. Okay. Remember, this is the first time we're actually playing it on the console. And there's something that I actually thought about. Hmm. One of my biggest problems with Diablo 3 on the PC was the. the you, you had to be online at all times to play it. Oh, God, I hated it. I remember when launch first happened, and of course, everybody and their grandma wanted to play Diablo 3. So you spent like three hours... Yeah, shut up. <laughs> you spent like three hours trying to get into the damn game, and when you finally were able to play, it was a laggy mess. And everybody was stupid pissed off that you couldn't play uh, offline, as it were. Yeah, and, you know, I was kind of against the console version at first, but thinking about it, freaking good idea. Really, oh, yeah. really good. Um, it's it, it comes back down to the old Gauntlet style game. Yep, and this game is apparently extremely fluid and easy to understand. How, so? how am I moving? How am I flipping? I'm flipping somewhere. Eh, never mind. Uh, R2. No. Oh, okay. I got. I got my charge. Did you? Did you flip? Yeah. Huh. Why is that happening? What were we talking about? Oh yeah. Um. And the something I always give Blizzard. I, I'm a. What are you doing? I don't even know. <laughs> I, I. I always give. I, I'm very critical of Blizzard in a lot of their decisions. For many years. Um. Thanks, Decker. Thank you. I'm always very critical of Blizzard. I always expect a lot out of Blizzard, and you know, if I feel like they really screw up or got lazy with something, I'm always, you know, be like, I always say it. But with Diablo on the console, um, I definitely give uh, Blizzard props. Be okay, enough of you, Jennifer Hill. I always, I actually, I really give Blizzard props because you can do gauntlet style in this game, and that just makes it fantastic. With your friends. Exactly. Diablo for me has, well, when I was growing up, I didn't have many people to play with, so for me, yeah, I know, it was terrible. Um, so Diablo was a very solo experience for me, and it was only later when Diablo 3 came out and... I was able to actually play with people online that it became a group experience. And I found I really enjoyed it. Yeah. You know, and you know, we're talking about gaming experiences. Uh, so so far, what do you think of E3? I think that Star Wars Battlefront um, is a nerdgasm and a half. I can't wait to play it. I'm super jazzed. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, which you know. Um, oh, gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. Ooh, a bow. Yes, I would love a bow. Um, uh, you press the uh, right of the touchpad for new skills. Oh, what the? This is totally different from the PC version. Y yes, it is. You hold it. I think you hold. There you go. Uh, I'm okay. seeing. 
understand what's going on here. Um, did you just remove your main ability, honey? No. Entangling Shot is a main ability. Is it? Yes. You get several different ones, in fact. It's not your standard attack. Yeah, it is. You're lying. I'm not. I promise. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's look at him. Okay, well, my turn to take a look really quick. Um. Okay, well... Wait, did, so does that mean I got Punish? You're... Or yeah. Wait, what, what, wait what? okay. Okay, right here? Yep, and, and then... Ah, you okay, I got Slash. Yes. Gotcha, okay. There we go. Uh, let's see, increases your... Uh, I like Punish when I get Runes. Um, I'll, I'll go with Slash now for just a little bit of AoE. I didn't really get anything. I told you it was basic attack. Well, I don't... I think the first Use the R stick. Oh, it's the R stick. That's how I'm... Why am I rolling down? Uh, that might be your controller. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't have that. You do. I think it's because I'm a demon hunter. Oh, I See, <laughs> Vault used to be one of the, uh, the ability... Well, it is one of the abilities in the PC version. And Vault is, like, my main... Oh crap, I gotta get out of here ability. So, I'm gonna rely on you to make sure that I don't need it. Well, that wasn't Vault, was it? I think that may have just been an evade. Yeah, but... because it doesn't take any of your discipline. Vault did. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. See. I don't know. Um, okay, well, we haven't got... Oh yeah, it, it prompts us. I have to say, uh, I'm, I'm really getting used to this. This I, I kind of like this. I will warn you though, I am a habitual map discoverer. Every inch of the map will be explored. Well, I will drag you far away. <laughs> but the treasure! There's so much treasure in all the places. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing, I can't wait for Ferocious Jelly to come back. You play this to get three people in on this. Oh yeah. It will be super fun. Uh, I'm gonna pause it really quick. I want I want to switch my skill. Okay. Okay. The one th I I actually want to change back to this. I did like it better. Punishment. Um. Oh, okay. Uh, I wanted to mess. I I, I think the voices were a little loud, and I yes. want to. Uh. If only for our sake. <laughs> yeah, especially with Jennifer Hale. I'm going to turn down... Can we just turn her off? <laughs> Is there a possibility to just turn... We'll leave the amb... I think the ambient... Um, oh, we'll turn everything down just a tad. I think... Let's get... Let's, let's try it there. Let's try it. Let's I apologize in advance. I have a very irrational dislike of Jennifer Hale. Um, I think it stems from the idea oh, wow. that... Oh, wow. You got very hurt very fast. Um, I think it stems from uh, the first time I ever heard her was in Mass Effect, and she was Fem Shep, and that, that was that was good. That was okay. But then I heard her in Swotor as the female trooper on Republic side, and she sounded exactly the same. And then uh, she was the female Savari in Guild Wars 2, and she sounded like she put on a really fake English accent, and she sounded exactly the same. My wrath is low. I have a problem. I really don't care for Jennifer Hale. Um, the one reason why I dislike Jennifer Hale, and I'll be totally honest with you, Naomi Hunter. Yeah, you know, you and Jelly are huge Metal Gear fans, and I was not introduced to Metal Gear until I met you, and I have come to love the series. And so, you know, I really don't like Naomi Hunter to begin with. Um, but the fact that she's voiced by Jennifer Hale immediately made me not like her. Well, there's something there's something that you uh, that that you kind of forget. Um, the first time you heard Naomi Hunter, like her original role in MGS One, you didn't recognize it was her right away. You was, had your suspicion. Bad. It was not bad. She actually like, hmm. she actually had talent. I was like, hmm, is is that Jennifer Hale? I don't know if that's Jennifer Hale or not. 
And then, you know, we looked it up, and sure enough, it was Jennifer Hale. And I was like, wow. Because I wanted to say, yeah, it was Jennifer Hale. I mean, Jennifer Hale's in just about every Metal Gear game, but I didn't want to sound like a total jackass while uh, trying to introduce someone to a new series. But yes, I, I love Metal Gear now, and I am both looking forward to and dreading. Uh, oh, sorry, I meant to hit okay. the thing. Um, both looking forward to and dreading Metal Gear 5. Cause say was that it? Oh god! Vault towards the door. There we go. I can't move. Keep him in the doorway. Why are we doing this on expert? I'm a melee class. <laughs> because it's fun. There's something else that I didn't like. Uh, the one thing that I will give Blizzard shit about, instead of using the original voice hunter for the demon hunter, they use Jennifer Hale. In, uh, uh, in Heroes, of, in the Heroes Storm. of the Storm. Yeah. Oh, that made me so mad. Oh, son of a gun. Is there a permanent... Do we have, like, infinite potions or something like that? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe. Yes. Um, yes. See. Yes, we do. I remember they changed that. That... that Okay. Okay, well, I'm not going to be afraid to use them. It's just on a cooldown. But the reason that I am looking forward to Metal Gear is because, you know, I obviously want more of the story. Um, but, you know, Jelly, Commander, and myself have had hours and hours of conversation about, uh, you know, Lore how we, how we individually feel about Metal Gear. And uh, to, put a, to put a short spin on it, um, I really feel that if if Mr. Kojima is is going for showing the hazards of war, um, I really feel that he needs to show more of the personal torment of war. And uh, turning Big Boss into a silent protagonist is not the way to do that. Well, I feel. I, I'm just throwing Devil's Advocate out. What's this? Ah, whatever. Um, I think I actually got an item really quick. Um, uh, to play Devil's Advocate, um, he is what a point that they made. Yeah, yeah okay, I'm a barbarian. Um, the uh, p something a point that he really tried to make was that he wanted to he wanted facial expressions to speak for themselves. You know, I remember um, L.A. Noir. Damn it! I want to attack these barrels. I remember L.A. Noir, uh made a big deal about. Having the ability for you as a player to determine facial expressions and thereby solve the case, which is, you know, perfectly acceptable. Um, the issue with that, though, is that. Oh, it already equipped. That's helpful. Um, using the technology of the time, uh, it was not easy for people to determine those facial expressions. It, you didn't get the same reaction. We as humans use a lot of body language that isn't necessarily facial expressions. And, you know, you're saying all this, but this is specifically why they kind of developed the Fox engine. I am not familiar, really, um, with the intricacies of the engine, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with it. I, um, I, I hope that, that Mr. Kojima, um, uh, you know, has has the wherewithal and has the technology at his disposal to really make Phantom Pain uh, a moving story. I, I cried at the end of 4. I, I legitimately cried like a little girl um, because it was moving. And to make a video game do that... Actually, is... to be honest, you cried at the end of just about every single one okay, of them. Okay, I really liked them, Except for Metal Gear okay? Solid 2. 2 was... Uh... It was Raiden. Um, yeah. <laughs> Raiden yeah. fans don't hate me, but... He's no solid snake. Okay. Um, I, I enjoyed them all. But uh, something about the Fox engine specifically, when they had uh, Kiefer Sutherland, which is the new snake, and believe me, I really wish it was David Hayter. No Hayter, no buy! Even though I already, I'm already, i going to buy it. Um, of course we're going to buy it. It's, it's horrible. Um, but something that they actually did was they did the whole mapping technology, putting the dots on Kiefer Sutherland's face when he did his lines and all this other stuff. And the facial expressions that Kiefer Sutherland does as he speaks and as he reacts to um, emotional um, stimuli 
it's reflected on Big Boss's face. Um, I'll take those gloves. So, you know, I think they're gonna pull it off. Uh, you take those ones. So. I, I really have hope that the game is going to be found. Um, we just oh, reached level 5. I think so. Did we get anything for it? Oh, uh, I don't know. I have the hiccups. Excuse me. Um, I, I really hope that Metal Gear will be a profound experience. Um, I usually let Commander here play the game and I just watch. Um, I'm not... I don't feel I'm very good at the game, so I'm in it more for the story. Well... Doesn't stop me, stop me from like saying, playing Alien or whatever. Yeah, least, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check. Uh, Cause I, I saw the love love button, and every time that, ha oh yeah, we did. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm um, oh yeah, you got us. Oh, we got a square ability now. Yes. Okay, Miss. I know everything. I was just commenting. I was just saying <laughs> that I knew. <laughs> I don't really like the sweeping attack too much, so I'm going to stick with my shield charge. Okay. Oh, you got your... Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay. And what's your square now? Was that... Uh, oh, um... Cow traps. Yeah, the, them thing. Cow traps, whatever. Oh, yeah, I got... Okay. Got to utilize all the buttons now. I can't tell that they toned down the graphics on this... Just a tiny bit. I don't know. I, I feel That's like okay. they're. I feel like they're almost smoother. Uh, yes. Yes. I, I will. Maybe it's just the screen that we're playing on because, you know, I'm used to having a monitor and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, this is you know a little bit bigger than your monitor. Watch out, we got blues to the top. I used Did to. Did you be... want these pants? Did you pick up those pants? Yes, I think so. Okay. Um, I used to be a big console gamer, um, but that was like Super Nintendo days. Uh, I think the last console I had was a PlayStation 2. Oh, uh, I'm... A, and see, I'm a huge console gamer compared to, um, you know, anything. Uh, I I always try to get stuff on the console versus the PC. And Jelly is the same way. Uh, I think for me the big issue was money. Like, I, I could afford to upgrade my PC, but I couldn't afford to spend... Four hundred dollars on a gaming console and another sixty or one hundred and twenty dollars on, you know, a game. You know, well, my first gaming consoles, a lot of them I've actually gotten, you know, either for Christmas. Oh, short bow. Uh, they were either Christmas or I actually traded friends for them. Really? Yeah. Um, you know, it's like I would have a game that they would. I would have like a movie or a couple of items that they would want. That's how I got my Super Nintendo, actually. And uh, I still have that thing. Unfortunately, the cats enjoy peeing on it. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to throw them out the fucking window. Can we window. get rid of our cats? Uh, <laughs> I think uh, the family would die. We can't get rid of cupcakes. Oh, hell no. Okay, it's a, it's a little easier now that I have this blind. Blind is great. I used to do a, a monk build um, that would use dodge. And blind was one of those things that I would use to protect myself until I could get my dodge out. The rumors, mm -hmm. That's fun. Just fancies of bored women. Until I saw them dragging people through the streets today. Dead cow. Barrels. Oh. I forgot about this lady. We got him, we got him. More oh. deeps. We got a axe and another bow. Saber. Cheng Xiao Bang. Oh, that's for a monk. Oh no, wait, that's mine. Sure. Oh, wrong button. Um. Ooh, and I got a rune thing. Yay! Well, I guess I might as well, right? Mm, that's right. No. Yeah, it's a. Two hander. Plus one experience per kill. Usually I go for the stuff with the damage, but plus one per experience kind of sucks. Um, when you get later on, plus experience per kill gets super badass. But yeah, but plus if it was like one percent, maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, 
I think I might use the saber. I would use this if I had the talent that let me use a two-hander. That but talent is awesome. I'll get that here in a little bit, I think. So, and um, I think I think that's really it. Yeah. Okay. That's it for me. Boing. Oh my Boing. god, that's such a funny sound. Uh, you got a rune for your X ability. For one of them, at least. Um, puncturing arrows, actually, not too bad. I've been liking that chain shot you've been doing, though. It's been really nice. I love that thing. Alright, we ready to go back to Tristan? Yeah. I'm Decker Kane, and I come from Tristram. If you're looking for Diablo, then you've Thank just you missed him. But no. Nor should she. I will help her find him. <laughs> what? Oh my god. I'm nasty. I'm old and a little bit ornery. I look like Patrick Stewart and I sound like Sean Connery. Come, let us search for you. We'll need to open the gate. Um, actually I think uh right here would be a good time to uh to probably call it for now. Agreed. So we will be back and we will give more opinions, reviews, and what we think about E3 in the coming videos. Imperials! Imperials all day! Oh my gosh. I am going to gush so hard. General Veers, I love you! Did a very good job. Thank you for joining us. Toodle!